Hey guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. Today we have a power supply unit from Cooler Master. This is the Cooler Master V850 Gold version 2. It's OEM, original manufacturer, it's Ghost Power. Yes, you haven't had this OEM much uh, because currently it only cooperates in desktop PS use at least with Cooler Master. Efficiency, Cybernetics Platinum, 89.43% average efficiency. This is very high for an 80 plus gold PSU. This is why it's Platinum in the Cybernetics scale. Noise, Lambda A- minus or Cybernetics A-, minus, 27 dBA only. Anything below 30 dBA is quiet, very quiet. Fully modular. PSU, dimensions normal with 160 mm depth, price, yes, the bad news start here, because of COVID and uh, the increased demand, the price is quite high, it's very high, currently this product is sold on New Egg for $154, this is very, very expensive, warranty, 10 years. Power specifications, it has a single 12 volt rail which can deliver the full power of the PSU alone while the minor rails can deliver up to 120 watts combined. Cables, we have 2 EPS, 6 PCI Express on 3 cables, so 2 PCI Express connectors per cable, 12 SATA on 3 cables and 4 4 pin Molex connectors. Uh, cable length is long, long enough and uh, unfortunately the distance between the peripheral connectors is only 120 mm while I'd suggest at least 150 mm to avoid any compatibility issues especially with large chassis. There are no in-cable caps, this is an advantage. Ghost Power, as I've already mentioned, provides the, the platform and the design is modern. What still is the impression, once you open the PSU, you shouldn't open the PSU, I can only open it or if you are experiencing this stuff, is the insane amount of glue used in the transient filter to keep coil wine in control. It looks like they really wanted to suppress uh, coil wine and uh, in fact, this PSU doesn't have any coil wine issues. Ghost Power used an unknown manufacturer for the fetch on the primary side instead of the usual and expensive ones from Infineon, but it has faith in them given the long warranty that it provides. 10 years warranty, I remind you. The parts of the secondary side are of high quality and an impressively high amount of polymer caps is also used. It's nice to see polymer caps in PSU, but uh, bear in mind that still electrolytic caps have to be used to provide the necessary capacity on the secondary side. Caps and fan manufacturers. There aren't many electrolytic caps, but the ones that Ghost Power used are of high quality. Most ripple filtering is done through polymer caps as I've already mentioned, which are of high quality as well. Finally, the fan is Honghua, what else? And uses a fluid dynamic bearing so it, wa it will last long, if you treat it well at least. Protection features, the OCP triggering points are correctly set on all major rails and the same goes for overpower protection. There is over temperature protection as well and the rest protection features are present so everything is fine here. Protection features are very very important especially for PSUs. Transient response, another major performance uh, area. The transient response of 12V is satisfactory and the same goes for 5V and 5VSB. The PSU passes all tests at 3.3V but we don't want to see voltages drop below 3.2V on this rail. It's a shame. Overall efficiency. The platform is highly efficient and as I mentioned already Cybernetics Platinum. So yes it's efficient. Overall noise output with close to 20 7 average dba this can be considered a silent unit it's not noisy there are, okay 
The Corsair RM750 and 850X are even quieter, but anything below 30 GBA in my book is considered as quiet. Overall performance, it's very high, reaching close to the XPG core reactor and the Superflower Lidex 3 models with similar capacity. This is very good because these two units are very good as well. Bottom line, the Cooler Master V850 version 2 Gold, Platinum in Cybernetics, can support a power hungry RTX 3090 if you can find one and you have the money to buy it, of course. It achieves high overall performance and each platform is efficient, so it will save you money from electricity bills and you will also save the planet. Its overall performance is on par with the competition and the, if it had tight load regulation, I believe it will be even above the competition. Overall, it is a good product worthy of your attentions. You should include it in your buying list if you are out looking for a good 850W power supply unit. Its major opponents now are Seasonic Focus Plus Gold 850. Yeah, the typical Seasonic PSU, a very good PSU in this price range. Corsair RM850X, a very good PSU and a dead silent one. The RM850 and the XPG Core Reactor 850, a very good PSU, silent as well and compatible with the newest ATX spec. And of course, the Superflower Lindex 3 and Lindex 5. Lindex 5 PSUs are starting to be available also in the US market where Superflower entered recently. So this is the major competition for this unit. Let's skip now to the pros. Full power at 47 degrees Celsius. Complete and properly set protections feature set. High overall performance, efficient, silent, efficient 5 vsb rail, long hold up time, low in rush and leakage current, fully compatible with the newest ATX spec and fully modular. The cons, only 3 cons, not so tight load regulation, power factor readings could be higher and small distance between the peripheral connectors. I will stay longer here on the not so tight load regulation as I mentioned, if this unit had better load regulation, especially at 12 volt, it would be a killer in this category. Well done, Cooler Master. Well done, Ghost Power. A very good PSU. Are this approved? Bye bye.